move on on the next information. We have the government plans to start providing COVID-19 vaccinations in 2021 through state-owned pharmaceutical company Biopharma. Yes, and to prepare for the vaccination process, the government has done several measures such as stockpiling logistics, training competent manpower, and maintaining the temperature of stored vaccines. The biopharma company is currently in the process of developing a COVID-19 vaccine in collaboration with Chinese pharmaceutical company Sinovac Biotech. The vaccine recently entered phase 3 of clinical testing. Should they pass, they can then be proposed to the supervisory body of the National Agency of Drugs and Food Control, or NADFC, for further analysis. However, many are still skeptical of the vaccine's efficiency. Aside from safety concerns, many are also questioning if the vaccine is halal. In response to these doubts, vaccinologist Dirga Saktiwambi stated in a virtual discussion on November 20, that all vaccines which have passed meticulous clinical testing and examined by the National Agency of Drugs and Food Control are safe, hygienic, and effective. Ada fase 1, fase 2, fase 3 yang melibatkan total ribuan orang. Hmm. Tujuannya apa? Untuk memastikan satu, vaksin aman, itu paling utama. Yang kedua, vaksin efektif. Okay. Lalu setelah itu, barulah vaksin suatu vaksin mendapat izin edar ya, di Indonesia itu dari badan po. Baru kita bisa gunakan secara luas. Nanti dengan adanya vaksin, itu akan melengkapi upaya pencegahan atau pertahanan tubuh kita. He also urged people to not be afraid of getting vaccinated since it offers a specific type of protection against the coronavirus which no other form of preventive measure can provide. If the NADFC permits the distribution of the COVID-19 vaccine, many are hopeful that the vaccines are effective in combating COVID-19 and can be distributed to at least 70% of the country's population.